What's up everyone, Q to Sean here. So last night we got big announcements for Fate Ground Order JP. Of course, the biggest one was the schedule for the live stream for Lost Belt Chapter 5, and that's going to be next week. I'll talk about it more in a different video, but we have guests. We have a confirmation that it's going to be next week, December 18th, Japan time. So yeah, really excited about Lost Belt Chapter 5. We also have a campaign for that to get golden apples and stuff like that. So definitely log in to get those apples. But other than that, uh, we do have an announcement of a maintenance scheduled for tomorrow, or I guess you can say later tonight. Um, this is basically for a data server security update. And of course, this is because of the leak and stuff like that i'll talk about this in a different video which i'll probably release later today so look forward to that but uh they're basically upgrading their security because of you know the leaks that happen this year now uh let's go ahead and talk about the main focus for the video interlude campaign number 11 so we have some new campaign or some new interlude campaigns for some servants most of them are from the lost belt series one of them is from epic remnant and uh, three of them out of the uh, seven servants here actually got upgrades and they're all mp upgrades and they're actually pretty good upgrades so uh, without any further ado let's go ahead and talk about which servants got the upgrades so starting off the list is going to be Napoleon. He's going to be getting an MP upgrade. He's going to be doing more damage with his MP. MP level 1 was originally 300 and MP 2 was originally 400%. Now MP 1 will be doing 400% damage, so MP 2 level damage. He's also going to be gaining 20 critical stars, which is huge. And uh, I think this is definitely huge for Napoleon. He's going to be doing more damage. And you can argue that he might be at uh, Gil Gilgamesh level damage, but I still think Gilgamesh is still better. Better, but against divine saber enemies oh Napoleon is hands down better than Gilgamesh even though Gilgamesh does have that enemy inish but I think against divine saber enemies which we do have a lot of divine saber enemies um, Napoleon is definitely hands down the better archer so yeah he's gonna be doing a lot of damage and uh, Ivan the terrible or Ivan the terrible however you want to pronounce it I like to pronounce it the Japanese way Ivan um, again like Napoleon MP damage increase uh, MP1 will be uh, MP2 level, so 400%, and uh, his reduced buster resistance, instead of 20, it's going to be 30% now. Anastasia only gets an interlude, Lan Ling only gets an interlude, Tomoe Gozen also gets a MP upgrade, will do more damage. Uh, instead of 800%, I'm sorry, instead of 600% for MP1, it's going to do 800%, MP2 will do 1000% now, so yeah, she's going to be doing a lot of damage. And uh, her burn will inflict 2,000 now instead of 1,000. So, yeah, all these servants got some pretty huge damage boost when it comes to their MP. Uh, Lian Liu, um, only an interlude. And Warikyude, or Valkyrie, is going to get an interlude as well. I would I would have been surprised if uh, Warikyude got a upgrade of some kind. Like, she's already strong as it is, so uh, there's no reason to buff her. Uh, Lian Lang, maybe they could have buffed her skills in some way. Um, same thing with Tomoe Golden. I feel like instead of MP, it could have been one of her skills, but uh, I mean, still, the MP upgrade is still huge. Um, I don't think, you know, Wang Ling needed an upgrade. Um, I think this is just fine for him. Anastasia, uh, I, also, I also don't think she needs an upgrade right now. I think she's fine where she is. Uh, maybe a little bit of MP buff would have been nice as well, but I mean, I think she's fine where she is right now. Um, Yvonne the Terrible, um, I actually think um, this is huge for him as well. He's going to be doing more damage. I thought that uh, he lacked damage with his MP, but um, yeah, this is huge. And um, honestly, instead of his MP, one of his skills would have been nice to get an upgrade, like his first skill. Like they could have added something, you know, but still, it's huge that he got an MP upgrade. And Napoleon, um, Honestly, I was kind of surprised to see him get an MP upgrade because, well, I mean, Ishtar got one recently, right? And Ishtar is pretty strong right now. So, um, no, this, this was surprising to see Napoleon get an upgrade, but uh, it's huge. Definitely huge. So, yeah, that's basically about it. Um, I mean, right now, they're the gotcha pickup for the servants that have interludes, Napoleon, Anastasia, and the four-star servants. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised Yvonne doesn't got an, uh, a rate up right now i thought they would throw him in but nope but uh yeah um I, I i don't think you should roll this this is definitely bait lost belt chapter 5 is literally right around the corner so save your quartz for that and uh, they're permanent again so uh, i would not waste my quartz on that gotcha but 
yeah pretty huge mp upgrade for the three servants definitely well deserved but i do think um ivan probably needs a little bit of upgrades on his skills but other than that i think he's still really strong same thing with napoleon he doesn't need anything anymore but yeah that's basically about it um again i will release another video talking about the maintenance that's going to happen tomorrow night so i uh, look forward to that and i'll talk about the stream on another day so look forward to that as well so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh which upgrade did you guys think was uh, well worth it and which one do you think got the better upgrade comment down below and tell me well they're technically all the same but uh which upgrade do you think was the strongest comment down below and tell me and i'll see you guys in the next one Later.